Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Banish with me, Biffa, here in our little town of Henniger. Thank you very much for joining me. Look at these lovely fields, cotton, hemp, we're growing it all corn, we're growing question marks. <laughs> oh, we've got everything we need and we've got all the houses here that we were working on last time, if you remember. We were trying to get our guys to build these as quick as they could to get our population up because our population has been struggling a little bit. How's that doing there? That's filling up nicely. That's good. Where's our windmill? Didn't we add... Uh, water mill. We added one in over here, didn't we? Shame it hasn't got a moving sort of thing going on. Let's just see what this trade has got. Uh, he's got a lot of food, but we're okay. We have all the food, so not going to worry too much about that. Let's come and have a look over here at our windmill again. Water mill, water mill, windmill. I'm going to say that every time. Where is it? Here it is. Ah, oh, what's the matter with that? No flour. Mm, corn? Maybe you could use some corn? Do we have corn? Let's have a look. Inventory. Do, 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 do. Sort by name. Corn. We have corn. Maybe we just can't get hold of it. I don't think we have barley. Oh, we have barley. And we have... How's our sorghum production coming along? Let's switch you to sorghum. Because I'll tell you what's probably happening with you. Can we add another person? Oh, we've got some more traders. We're going to see those in a minute. Miller. Yeah, I need to add you. There we go. Because you're the guys. Oh, seeds, 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 seeds. We need... What was it now? Olive? Olive and strawberry? Was it olive and strawberry seeds? I said last time. Oh, I need to check. Let me double check what it was. Yes, I said olive and strawberries. So we can take that for sure, for starters. Does he have olives? Olives, olives, olives. He doesn't. Can I place an order for just olive seeds and nothing else? Olives. Just once. Can I do the same for him? No, unfortunately not. Beeswax, glass cotton, hemp, flax, silk. Nah. Nope. Don't need any of those. We're going to do that. We're going to get strawberry seeds. Mm, definitely hasn't got olive, parsnip, cloth, apricots, linen, beans, pecan. No. And oh, we're going to get some bread as well. Why the heck not? Can I actually afford all that bread? An additional 140 units. Oh, I can. Brilliant. Okay, let's chuck a few coats in. Let's drop that down to 30, and then we can pay with 30 of these. There we go. Excellent. Trade items. We only have one left that we need to get. Olives. Hooray! We're nearly there. This list doesn't look as big as it did before. Freezing cows, llamas... What's missing? That list That list looks a bit different to me. Anyway, olives is the last thing we need. He's gone on his way. Oh, excellent. Maybe we're going to finally get it. Not so many woodcutters. We've got so much food. And we don't have enough farmers either. We're like 25 farmers short of what we need. But there we go. Production limits reached. 2,000 coats. We, I think we've conquered. We've conquered this, haven't we? We're... We've got so much food and everything. What have you got? You're short on flour. Let's change you to corn then. Who's this over here that hasn't got a worker? Yeah, the woodcutters. That's fine. And what are we doing family-wise? See, the only thing that's been a problem is our citizens have dropped up and down quite a lot. But there's not been much we could do about that. It's just the way it's gone, really. Have we got things being built? We have. Let's just check out our houses again. What is the population of these? We've got some that have got one in. How many have we got that have got one in? So these are all filled with children. Okay, right. Let's let's do some let's do some kicking out. Remove. Structure. Reclaim. Ha ha! I'm like the wicked landlord that comes along and says, sorry, sorry. That's it. Oh, change your mind. You're fine. Oh, and you as well. Oh, reclaim. 
reclaim before they start knocking them all down. How many? Have, come on, you've got to move in with other people. So you can have kitty winkies of your own. That one, that one, that one. Okay, those three there. There we go. And uh, I've accidentally kicked out some other families. They've gone to work at the fields, come back, and found their house is marked to be knocked down. You're only 17, but, you know. Can I get it? <laughs> Trying to do it without moving the thing around. There we go. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Another one. That'll be you. One, two, two of those. Reclaim, reclaim. That one. Just this one. Okay. Reclaim. There we go. Ha ha. Good. So hopefully, people are going to start moving into those. Having kiddly winkies. Right. We're going to order olive seeds from everybody. Just once. Uh, pepper seeds. Unless he's actually bought them. Has he bought them? Blackberry seeds? No. Should we buy some buy some roots? We have a lot of roots, actually. Let's buy a load of apples. And... What else? What else? Stone? Oh, let's just buy a thousand apples. Why not? That sounds like a good trade to me. There we go. Off you go. Be gone. Good. So how's this area doing in here? Yep, not too bad. Our mining, uh, our winery area. Yeah, our churches and chapels are still full up. That's something we wanted to try and fix. Our housing area and our mining area. Doing okay. Let's just check the houses here quickly. One, one. You will learn. Word will get around that the landlord is on the warpath. And people will stop living in one house. One person in one house. They will find out. Three. So these first three. There we go. Oh, people are dying. And you. I want you to fill your houses with children so we can get our population up. It's for the it's for the good of the town. So I don't want any complaints from the citizens of Henniger. We can suck it up. Let's spin around this way. Okay, that'll do. Let's have a look. We have three traders. Have any of these got olive seeds? No, bison. Oh, can we... Tell you what, let's open all three. Just in case we can order... Nope. Dismiss you. Can I order... Nope. Dismiss you. Freezing cows and bison. Oh, it's all the blimmin' things that we've got heading in. Okay, right, let's have a look through our list. I want to make sure that I've covered all the different buildings that we can build. Now, we know we've got trading post dry storage, we've got bank barns, grain silos and root cellars. We've done all of those. Back alleys, we've done abbeys, cemetery, chapel, parish house. Have we built a parish house? A small one. Let's stick a small parish house. We've got a chapel here, I reckon... Just at the back, we can add a parish house in. Why not? Why not? Hospitals, schoolhouses and wells. How's our schools doing? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Let's press this one. We still got enough teachers? Yes. Schools aren't full up. Okay, that's good. No students. Okay, that's because we're not having any children. That's why. Food producing, dairies we've got, sugar house, bakery, apiary, oil press, gatherers, hunting cabin, windmill, watermill, fishing docks, pastures and orchards and crop fields. We have all of those. Quarries, mine, weavers, yep, silkworm, ropery, people are dying. We still have somebody spare up here, that's good. <laughs> spare people, that's what you need. <laughs> Sounds so heartless, doesn't it? Candlery, shore house, bundling sheds, tailors, blacksmith, yep, yeah, herbalist, fault, yeah, we've got all of those. Queuing barn, distillery, winery, brewery, inn and garden. That was something I wanted to check. So we've got an inn and garden, we've got a brewery, an oil press, an abbey. I don't think we've got a distillery, have we? 
No, I don't recognise the look of that building, and this will be the place to put it. Can we... What's that there? A stone house. Can we squeeze it in here somewhere? Yeah, in there. Oh, let's go around again. There we go. We'll add that in as well. Excellent. So that's covered all of those. We've got our statues. We've got privies and flags. We haven't really done much with the fences. Crates, trees, decorative bushes. We've used all of these, haven't we? Hedges and things like that. Yeah. So we have pretty much, well, we have used everything in the game. Olive seeds! Hooray! Let's take a look at our trade items. Finally! Fig maple tobacco. Yay! We have got everything. We have got everything we've traded for all the items. Sip of celebratory tea. That is fantastic. And that means that what I could do is actually add some orchards up here. What size were these orchards? Let's, let's have a look. Orchards. Finally managed to get everything. It's hard to tell, isn't it, when you're trying to see the edge of the road. So if I do it from there to there, 16 by 17 it looks like. 16 by 18. So we could put some 16 by 18s in here. Let's give that a go. Actually, they're 15 by 15. <laughs> Work it out correctly. So what I might do is, let's see how many we could squeeze in here. Does that need the road going around? No, let's just butt it straight up to there. Let's do them 16 by 16 because then they'll match up with two of these, won't they? 16 by 16 and that can be another farm and then maybe we can get a road and another one in the end there. Let's have a go and see if we can do that. So let's have... Let's continue that up to the end. I can go that way. Let's see if the road will actually carry on. How far will it go? We'll get that going as far as it can down there. Let's get this moving along. And then we can put in here... Oh, they've got to be removed and built on things first. Okay, well we'll do that. Get that going. Ah, there we go. The game was paused. I knew something wasn't right. We might as well just stick another farm in here, just for the sake of... 8 by 14 Just for the sake of completeness. Should we make that just a bit bigger? Let's do an 8 by 16 with that one. So what have we got? Nothing for trade. You've actually bought nothing. And you've bought nothing as well. So what sort of trader are you? What? Really? Oh, there you go. I must have pressed the button too quickly. Fair enough. Let's just grab a nice round number of food. We'll have two, four, six, and we'll take a thousand of those. Eight thousand. Thank you. And what have you got? Seeds that we don't need. Dismiss. Thank you very much. Off you go. So I'm wondering, with olives olives and strawberries, whether they... I think strawberries will probably get put in the field, won't they? Yes, yeah, so we'll change that. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll change this one to strawberries, and we'll change this one to... Where's the sunflowers? We've not had any of those yet, have we? And then those are the new ones. Nope, don't need those. Thank you. And these new ones, when they get done, let's move these over here. Oh, parish house has been completed. Let's have a look at that. There we go. We have nobody working there yet. Let's have a look. One more cleric. 28 members. So now we've filled up everywhere with space to spare. Excellent. That's what we want. Let's increase. Is that another trader? No. Let's increase... Over here, the pr 
final. Let's see on our distillery and get that done. We need a load of workers. Let's... And we need some people as well. Let's drop a couple of those down. Let's drop a couple of these down. We've got lots of people doing lots of things. Uh, vendors, we're going to drop a load of them down. Let's drop that down to 30. There we go. Excellent. To give a nice... Nice boost to all the things. I want to see what this distillery looks like in our nice area here. What are you short on? Lamp oil blubber. You are getting blubber, so you basically just have to wait. There's not much we can do about that. Still wish we could fill in these sort of areas, but... There we go. What have you got? Yeah, we're going to take a ton of your food as well. So this is... I'm pretty pleased with the way this has worked out. This is the first time that I've actually managed... Man, this is expensive food. I don't want to get the cheaper stuff. So we're going to take 2,000 of those. Actually managed to run a wood... Wood-based economy, I suppose it is, in this way, and it's worked out. It's worked out really well. Let's get those. Yeah, there we go. And I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with the way it's worked out. Let's just see what this trader's got. I bet he's got nothing we want. No, he's the one that brings the things that we don't need. Dismiss. And uh, yeah, really pleased with the way with the way that it's gone. Here we go. Distillery is going up. I'm not quite sure what this is actually going to do. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Coal and tools. Coal is going down a bit. We're doing okay. 89, 90%. Oh, we can see the little vats thing on the side there as well. There we go. It's done. So who do we need working at our distillery? Oh, that's sharing with something. So what's that going to make? Kachaka, Applejack, Baiju, Raiki, Crater, Vodka and Whiskey, Potato, Glass and Firewood. Wow, we've got to try and find something we've actually got a lot of. Apple. I bet we've got... Let's have a look. Have we been growing apples? 500 odd apples. Sugar cane, I bet that's something we've probably got spare, because I don't think we've been using that for much else, have we? 2,000 odd sugar cane? Let's go for that one. Kachaka, that's what we're going to make. Distillery, one of two. What is that sharing with? That's what I want to know. Maybe we've got a farmer gather. So it like a vintner? No. Cure sailor, Elwench. Elwench, no. That's the back alley thing, isn't it? Monk, Grove, Tender, Weaver. Trader, Vendor, Taylor, Brewer. No. I'm confused. Surely one of these says one of two. One of two, Sugar Boiler. No, it's not going to be that. Shawman, it's not going to be that. One of two, Chandler. No. One of one. I'm confused. I don't know. And frankly, it can just stay as one because we're... <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. Let's up that. Let's nip up here. What is this going to make? Well, I can put it for anything, because at the minute, we don't have enough people making all of these. Let's do barley. And I want these completed. Priority increased. Let's up this to 10 again. And let me just squeeze another colonial house in the end here. Let's change the model. There we go. Just finish off that little spot. How are these guys doing with their tobacco leaf? Pipe tobacco. What are they making? 20... 99. About 100 a year. 40... 121. For some reason he's making a bit more. 22. Oh, the year just changed. Fair enough. What if we could... Uh, Suddenly get an influx of nomads just to boost everything up again. Ah, here we go. So, what can we do in here? We could add olives. And we did two, didn't we? Because I wanted strawberries. But there's so many other ones, look, that we're not we're not doing. Maple tree. Let's have cherries. Like that one. And we'll see how they go. I don't think they're gonna get grown anytime soon. 
they take a while. Logs, yes. We'll take we'll take all of your logs. Um, 1,500. Yep. Trade dismiss. Thank you. Whale blubber. Yeah. We'll take we'll take 2,000 of those. And I'm sure we can make that up. An additional 228. Okay. Two to eight. Frogs legs, food. No, I don't think we'll bother with anything else. I think we're doing okay with that. So, well, you may have gathered, I was mentioning it in the last episode, this is going to be the end of this series of Colonial Charter. Um, I've been using the Maple Harpoon release of Colonial Charter, and I know it's been updated a couple of times since I started the series. We're now up to the Excellent Adventure version. Let's just close some of this down so we can we can see our town. And also somebody wanted to see the map. So let's open up the map. Here we go. So we can sort of get an idea of how big we've made. Here's the, here's the lake. We've got our fish around. Yeah, so the excellent adventure one is out. Oh, nomads! How many nomads are we going to have? Let's have a guess. 49. 79. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> but do you know what? Before I just talk about what I'm going to talk about, let's put all these things back on. We can get everybody back. Uh, I don't have enough to get all the farmers up. Let's get some of the... Let's have a look. So let's get some of the small, small things going here, maxed out. And, uh, yeah, lots more has been added to the excellent adventure, but... Let's add this up here. Cities Skyline is about to be released. Um, and that is the game that I'm going to be aiming to do every day. Oh, it's paused. Okay, it's slowed down. Yay, they've brought disease. Influenza. I'm going to be aiming to do a Cities Skyline episode every day, including streaming as well. Oh, my growth tenders have died. Didn't realise that. Let's add another Shoreman. Um, and... This episode, is, it's, this series has nicely come to an end. Seven, eight. I'm going to max everything out and see how we do. Let's get our... Oh, Herdsman. That is not good to have low. And I don't think I'm going to have enough to get this maxed out, am I? Ah, no. Okay, so... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's drop this down. Uh, let's drop that down as well. Okay, that'll do. Um... Let's see who's ill. Let's have another sip of tea before we do that. They're wandering around now, these dirty nomads. I need to see... What do we have? One ill person with influenza visiting the doctor. Who is it? Albertram. And what we don't actually have is enough room for all of our nomads either. So they're going to need some more houses. But hopefully our Bertram is going straight to the doctor. He is actually in the doctors. We have a patient. Oh, well, that disease is over. So, yes, yeah, City Skylines will become an everyday series. Um, for as long as guys are enjoying it and watching it. Which I think will be a while. Because everybody's looking forward to that. I certainly am. Um, and then we may bring back Banished with... At the minute, it's the excellent Adventure Colonial update. Um, but they'll be releasing another one soon. Are they going to finish that even though there's no person on it? Hmm. I don't know. And that needs to go down to one, like all of these. How many do I have on these? I've got too many. Three or four, three or four. Yeah, these need to go down to four. There we go. There's only four people working on it anyway. And it sounds like they're working on another new update. But there's loads of extra things. And what I would do... <clears throat> is I would do it as a Adam and Eve challenge, where you just start with two people and work it up from then. And we'll have the same sort of goal of trying to get everything, all the trade items, build one of everything. And I'll, I'll try and concentrate more on making a good-looking city. Although, to be honest, I had to work with what I had. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of oh, mountains and things going on here which were causing a lot of problems. We don't need pigs or llamas, thank you. Although... I've been short on Herzman for a while. Everybody's still full up with their stocks. Yeah, we're doing okay. Food is doing alright. Let's just take... 
Let's just take some food. We'll have some fruit cakes. Why not? Some sugar cookies. Nope, we'll have 1,000 sugar cookies. 1,500. Nope, I was right the first time. 1,000. There we go. Overpaying by 1,000. Oh, I just can't count. There we go. We'll have 1,000 of those. Done. Trade. Dismiss. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see when that comes to it. I'd like to do another Banish series because I do enjoy it a lot. Um, so hopefully that is what's going to happen. But thank you guys that have been supporting this series. I enjoy playing Banish, so <clears throat> I would like to bring it back. I need another sip of tea. My voice is croaky. And, uh, yeah, I think the Adam and Eve challenge will be the one to go for. I think that will really add something different to the game. Um, but I feel like we've really done well on this one. We've... Nope. Don't want any of those. We've, we've built a lot. We've spread out well. I feel like I've conquered the game. And uh, the extra challenge with the extra things to build and the Adam and Eve setting as well would be good. Sadly, we didn't really get our house totally finished. You know what? Let's just put around. Let's just finish off the little bush. This little hedge that's going to go round our house here. What have we got? Decorative hedges. Custom hedge. Corners. Okay, I didn't see those before. Let's just do... There we go. Let's flip that around. How should we have that one? We'll have that going on the end. Like this. We'll get some builders over here to get this done. And hopefully... Going to have a little gate out the back. We've got gates, haven't we? Let's add a nice wooden gate. Oh, a wooden trellis. Let's add a couple of trellises in. Here we go. That would be nice. We could have a nice tree in our garden. Town fig tree, peach tree. Let's have a nice, nice little couple of peach trees here in our back garden. Let's also increase the priority on all of this. Here come the builders. Good, good. Let's cut down that raggedy old tree there. And I think that one is going to be in the way. Yeah, that's going to be in the back garden. Oh, trellises went up and then went down. <laughs> They're still working on that. And let's put a bit of fence in here. Wooden or stone fences. What's this? Fence corner. Fence corner, three sides. Got stone fences and castles is something that's been added as well to the new version. Is that like a gate? Yeah, wooden fence gate. Let's have that in the middle. Let's have two of those. And then we'll have one either side like that so we can get out into our lands and see our people. If I add a fence gate here... No, can't do it on the road. Could I remove a piece of road and put a fence gate in there? Let's try that and see what that looks like. I want it to look like you have to enter my property via a fence. Or should we have wood fence gate, stone fence and stone fence? No. I can see there's a stone, stone fence we could add. Oh, look at those lovely trellises going up. That is looking nice. Hedges are going up. Oh, fences are going up. Very, very swish. Let's add... Let's add some more people there. Are you going to remove this piece of road for me? Oh, look at that. People run. When I want them to work on my house, people run. And they say, yes, boss, we're going to work on your house. Yes, governor. The governor. The governor. The mayor. Yes, mayor. That's what they say. Oh, look at those lovely trellises. They look really nice. Very good. It's a shame it's so snowy. Oh, one fence gate. I'm hoping people can still get through the fence gates. Thank you. We shall see. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's just quickly see the trader. Nope. Thank you. Which one is it? This one, this one, this one. I know it's one of these buttons will take me to the house. Okay, we'll do this then. I completely lost my bearings. There we go, there we go. The houses have been planted. Oh, the gate fences are in. It's like got snow on the top as well. It's really cool. I do like that. I've got a couple of crates down the side of the house. Like it's a busy working house. 
a privy around the back because got to have my own private toilet. There we go. What's this? I don't know what that is. We could add a couple of flowers in, couldn't we? Let's take... Let's have like a vegetable patch sort of thing. Let's mix these up a bit. Let's cancel... Cancel that and that. And say that one. There we go. Add some different coloured flowers in. Let's have one there and one there. And then we'll go for this one there. I think that'll look nice. What time of year is it? Late winter, so it's about to warm up. Finish that other fence. Let's increase the priority on that. I want to see if people can still get through. Okay, we'll come back to that. In a oh, there we go. Look, it's going to finish it. Nope, almost. Because I don't want to completely box it in and find people can't actually walk through anywhere to get in to do the work. Right. Oh, they can. They can walk through the fence. So, looking at the map, we had the lovely fishing area, which was absolutely brilliant. I've jumped on the map and lost my place. There we go. We're here. We had our starting town. Let's use the shortcut keys. Here we go. And we can follow where we are. Our starting town with our market was over here with our farms, which did us really well. We expanded out. We had our gatherers and collectors, herbalists and whatnot up here. Our traders must have some bad weather. Our four traders, we could have had more, have kept us stocked so much with stuff. Let's take all 3,000 of those. It's been absolutely brilliant. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Let's have a look. Conditional 4,000 units. Let's just whack in Whatever we've got. Additional 150. There we go. Trading with the coats. Well, those traders have kept us stocked for so long. And then we spread out over here. We had our mining district. Which is keeping us in stone and coal. That is doing really, really well. We had our brewing district. Yes, I said brewing. Over here. The area with the old mine I thought would disappear but never did. And there we go. We've got... How are they working? Let's have a look. Making liquor. Excellent. And that's been working nicely. Our extra uh, stone cutters, extra wood cutters. And then our farming district. With our pecans, pears, chestnuts and our new ones. Our olives and cherries. All of the farms. Our weaving district. They're all at the max of all the coats. And then we started spreading out over here. These houses have saved us actually. We've really got an extra, extra boost I think. Of course, it's the nomads that have mainly done that. What are we up to? 500. Yeah, see, we're getting up to 700 again. 600, which is good. Hey, look, it's finished. And it looks lovely. We've got a privy. Is that... I thought that was going to give us some figures. Yes. 14 times the privy was used last year. Nice little fence to get out into our lands. Look at that. What are they coming and going? Oh, they're the weavers and vendors that work there. Is that me? Sario and my wife... Nope. Tuckery and my wife, Sario. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate your support on this series. Oh, they're full up again. We're going to need another parish house. I could just put one right next door. Let's have another chapel... Do you know what? We could do with a chapel up here, couldn't we? Because look at all these houses up here. For the poor working class people of the farms. Let's squeeze that in the back there. There we go. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the series. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. As much as I have. And, uh, yeah, watch out for City Skylines. That's something I'm really looking forward to. And then in the future as well. Maybe Banish will come back with some more challenges. We shall see. So thank you guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you next time in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.